Welcome to Strata Photo 3D CX2. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the workflow in Photo 3D. Photo 3D allows you to generate fully textured 3D models from photographs taken with a standard digital camera. I'm using a screen capture utility that highlights my mouse clicks in red, like this. This is not part of our software. Also, I've opened the doll example project that ships with Photo 3D. So the workflow in Photo 3D is pretty straightforward, and there are some wizards built into the software to help you. There are four basic steps. First, you take or acquire the photographs. Then you mask the photographs or the images. Then you generate the geometry, and then you generate the texture. So the first step is taking or acquiring the photographs. You can photograph the object on a calibration mat, like these images here, which you can print out from within the software. The calibration mat that you print out can be sized according to your needs, and the markings on the calibration mat give the software the information it needs about the camera and the camera angle, and allows it to generate the geometry and the texture. If you can't use the calibration mat, you can add that information later using the new marker system and that will be is covered in a different tutorial. So the second step is masking the images. You can mask the images in Photoshop if you'd like or you can use Photo 3D. Masking separates the object you want to capture from the background. Now this, ob this uh, image has already been masked. Um, that's what the checkered background indicates. So in Photo 3D, you would want to use the masking wizard. To start the wizard, you go to the processing menu and select mask all images. And this is the generation mask generation wizard that will appear. You may need to experiment with this background detection threshold to get your masking as accurate as possible. I'll go ahead and close that. You may also need to mask the images, um, fine-tune the, ima the mask masks on the images individually, and for that we have some tools over here on the left. You can see there are some view tools, some auto masking tools, and then some paint, uh, the paint mask and unpaint mask tools. So this has the, um, the round brush is already selected. I'll move the diameter of the brush up a little. And if I click and drag in the window, you can see that I am unpainting the mask. You may need to use the unpaint mask tool if, um, if the automatically generated mask is covering up part of your, of your object. So once, that, once you have the masks perfected, you'll need to generate the wireframe. Um, you can redo these wizards um, as many times as you need to. If you uh, think you're finished masking and then generate the geometry, <coughs> and the geometry is not accurate, you can go back and check the masks, adjust the settings, and then generate the geometry again. So I'll switch over here to the model window. When you're generating the geometry, you'll want to go again up to the processing menu and select generate wireframe. Um, it will, once you start it, you have the choice of, or uh, you have these options that you can adjust. Um, you can increase or decrease the number of triangles um, depending on what the final uh, product is going to be used for what the 3D object is is needed for. For example, if you were using um, an image or an, a model on on the internet, you would want to keep the number of polygons or triangles to a minimum. So I'll just click back on that. Once you generate the wireframe, it will run through and optimize the surface. In other words, it will go through and do a rough draft the first time, and then the second time it will fine-tune the surface. 
while this wizard is running, you can click on the wireframe display method over here, or mode, like I just did, and you can interact with the 3D mesh while the, <clears throat> while the wizard is running. And I'll go ahead and close that. No, I said close. So the final step in the process would be generate texture map. And this wizard also has some um, controls, some options that you can use. And once you're finished with uh, choosing the options, you'd go ahead and click the next button. Uh, and it will automatically generate the texture. I'll go ahead and close this and go back to the textured view and show you the final product. So once you have um, gone through this, these processes and the geometry and the texture is generated, you're ready to export the model. And you can go up here to the file menu and choose export for that. So that's all for this tutorial. I've introduced you to the basic workflow in Photo 3D. Um, please don't forget to check our website for more Photo 3D videos and tutorials. And if all else fails, don't forget to check the user guide, which is located in the Help menu. Thank you for joining me.